So I've struggled with my own mental health for most of my life. Um, my mom has depression and anxiety and she kind of passed those genes on to me. When I was about five years old, I lost uh, my uncle who I was very, very close with. I was always a pretty shy kid and I was also overweight um, and I was bullied throughout elementary, middle and high school, you know, because of these things. I would either eat, cry or self-harm to kind of cope with what I was going through and the unhealthy coping mechanisms just made me feel so much worse. Uh, mental health is seen as a myth among some, sort of disregarded, and it's not seen as sort of legitimate in the way that physical and biological health is. So, but a lot of people might go to like their pediatrician or their physician yearly for a physical checkup, but they, for some reason, don't equate mental health as being as important as their like physical health. Um, and college students specifically, I think sometimes it's hard for people to determine like where the line is, mental health and mental illness, and where they should sort of seek help and when. So maybe, you know, they, ha they have like debilitating anxiety or depression and they wait too long and they should have gotten help here. When people are um, experiencing mental health problems, they're kind of comparing it to what they see in media and how TV and movies portray people with um, mental illness. And so if you believe that somebody who has a mental illness is violent and you know you don't fit into that, that identity, which it, it's not even true, that's a misconception about mental illness, that someone is violent when really they're no more violent than anyone else that is a big misconception about mental illness. And if you don't feel like you fit into that identity, then you might not look for help or if people aren't talking about it, you might not know where help is or that you have um, something that you're struggling with. Um, When I was 15, I was rushed to the ER after a suicide attempt, and they couldn't really discharge me from the hospital without, you know, setting up a crisis worker to come to my house the next day and, you know, decide on a plan of action for treatment. So that was really a turning point in my life. But, you know, I only sought help after it got, you know, to the worst point. I think that having that predisposition to mental illness mixed with my environmental factors really kind of, you know, stacked the cards against me in a sense. Over half of all students li living with mental illness um, will drop out of school and, s and suicide is the second um, leading cause of death for college students. So those are like really big statistics and that's really affecting students, um, especially because a lot of people who are um, struggling with mental illness, they, they aren't um, receiving a diagnosis until their mid 20s. So, at that point in your life you're in college and you're experiencing everything and then also on top of that like you're you're not going to maybe know what the symptoms are until that point in your life anxiety and depression disorders are specifically prevalent like in populations of college students um, whether that's they go into college with those disorders that's part of it but also the stresses of college also serve to sort of exacerbate like and it's almost like a switch so like everybody has feelings of th they're anxious or maybe they're sad, but in terms of having a disorder, um, sometimes they, their disorder triggers, like the switch gets flipped on during college because of the stress. I did seek help that came only after a very extreme kind of turning point in my life. I finally got the help that I needed and I was able to, you know, recover. And now I only receive treatment for anxiety and ADHD. Um, and being able to overcome major depressive disorder and post-traumatic stress disorder was very hard. But it's shown me that you don't have to let these things control your life. And I've now, you know, taken that experience and 
decided to devote the rest of my life to psychology and helping people who have ever you know, felt a similar way that I did. So I think in terms of people who are suffering in silence with um, any mental health problems or disorders, disorders diagnosed, undiagnosed, but are just having personal like distress, it's not so great to wait until it's so bad that you're like completely debilitated to seek help. And it's very, it, there's this stigma of mental health, especially, um, I mean, in our society and the world at large. Uh, so while that's sort of a barrier to seeking help, which is understandable, it is truly worth it as someone who also has mental disorders. It m might seem scary to sort of get help. It's better to get help and specifically get help sooner as opposed to waiting until later because these things just don't go away on their own. I think it's really important that people talk about it because if we're not talking about it, then people don't think it's happening and it is happening. And if it's happening to you, you feel like you're the only one that it's happening to. So um, things like this, projects like this that really shine a light on how prevalent it is and um, people talking about the resources. Like I know that um, there is a really awesome resource center here now um, and like events where they have other um, community um, agencies come in and talk about what resources they do offer and like if they're accessible, um, which many of them are. So talking about all the things that people can access and um, understanding the, you know, the whole thing better. It can get better. It's definitely not easy and it definitely requires a lot of work to get better. And you know, there are going to be days where you have to work twice as hard as the next person just to get by but I really think that's why people are able to come out of mental illness so much stronger on the other side. As hard as it seems, it can be done, and you just, you can't ever stop believing in yourself. You have to keep pushing yourself, and you'll be able to do it. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone.